Today's episode describes the events that led to the killings of more than 25,000 Tutsis at Chibeo Catholic Church in Nyaruguru. Those who had taken refuge at the church and the buildings of Chibeo Parish managed to ward off the killers for two days, but reinforcement from gendarmes and Indianamu from neighboring sectors made the fight impossible. <laughs> April 14, 1994, massacres perpetrated against the Tutsi in the former Chigaringari, Jikongoro, Chibuye, Chibungo, and Changugu prefectures. The massacres of Tutsis at Adeper Maheresho, Nyamagabe. On April 14, 1994, the massacres of Tutsis began in Maheresho, where victims were killed by Inera Hamge and gendarmes called to the task by Vatajikimana Didas, mayor of Rukundo commune. That day, at the home of parents of the Minister of Agriculture and Livestock, Zamurambo Frederic, who was also among the leaders of PSD, more than 37 Tutsi who had fled there hoping to find safety, were killed. Among those responsible for these massacres is Burgumet Santejikimana Didas, Munyambunga Jean-Baptiste, MDR representative in Ukundo commune, his son Kwadia Jean, leader of the Neramu youth, Kajimbura Martin, Deputy President of MDR in Rukundo Commune, and teacher Munya Andinda Joel, Inspector of Primary School Rukundo, Nyagatari Supriye, teacher Hachizayezu Jean, Majeza Onesfor, Boutieye Alphonse, Gashuji Damier, Naamagaze Marcel, Naomagaze Antoine, and others. The massacres were committed by these killers and gendarmes who had come from the Congo, gendarmerie. The massacres of Tutsis were taken refuge at the Mata Tea Factory, Nyamagabe. On April 14, 1994, killings began for the Tutsis who had taken refuge at the Mata Tea Factory and others who lived nearby. The victims who had been identified and whose bodies lie in the genocide memorial of this factory amount to 380. Among those responsible for the massacres, there is the sous-prefet of Munini, Binigadamie, Ndavarinze Juvenal, director of Mata Tea Factory. Mujiranga Silas, Burgumestre of Rugamiko Commune, Hachizimana Silvestre, President of MDR Power in Rugamiko Commune, Ser Gume Silvestre, Chairman of MRND, Muriro, Chairman of CDR, Museruka, OPJ in Rugamiko Commune, and other in Herahamge. The massacres of Tutsis who had taken refuge at Gati Sector, Rugamagana. On April 14, 1994, Tutsis were killed at Gati sector of the Rugwamagana district. The massacres were led by Rutajengwa Jean-Marie Vianney, who was the head of MRND in the area. He is the one who incited people to kill Tutsis in Gati. The Ineramge whom he led asked him for permission to check the identity of Consensa Mukandori, a Tutsi. They wanted to examine what the brains of a Tutsi looked like. He gave them authorization and the victim's head was cut off to examine her brain. Gwawukame, Consensa's husband, was also immediately killed. Among the killers were Abigabiro Joshua, Kavugari, Nibivujire, and the then director of Gati School. The massacres of Tutsi in Mirambo, Karonji. On April 14, 1994, Tutsis who had taken refuge in the school of Virambo sisters of Benevichira community were attacked by Inerahamge, soldiers, and gendarmes led by the burgomaster of Gatira commune, Kabasha Tarsis. They were killed with guns, machetes, spears, grenades, and other weapons. More than 5,000 Tutsis were killed there. Numerous bodies of victims were burnt with gasoline, and pits were dug near the school building in which the bodies of the victims were thrown. As there were too many bodies, another grave was dug near the Urumuri school. Local traders' vehicles transported the lifeless bodies to pits. The massacres of Tutsis at Chibeho Catholic Church, Nyaruguru. On April 14, 1994, at the Chibeho Church, Inerahamge and local authorities exterminated more than 25,000 Tutsis who had taken refuge at the church and in the building of Chibeho Parish. The Tutsis first defended themselves using traditional weapons within their reach and were able to repel the attacks on April 12, 1994. The Inerahamge of Chibeho went to seek reinforcement and the authorities of Murin Sous-Prefecture, led by Sous-Prefet Biniga Damier, helped them to mobilize gendarmes and other Inerahamge from Mata, Ruramba, Mudasomga, and elsewhere, who attacked the Tutsi refugees with the firearms and grenades. 
Their talk started at 1 p.m. and lasted till evening. Father Pierre Ngoga asked the survivors of these massacres to consider fleeing to Burundi and took some in his vehicle and brought them to Utare where he was assassinated, betrayed by his colleague Father Anakle Sebahinde, who was originally from Chibeho. Among the killers in Chibeho, there is the Suprefet Damier Veniga, the Burgumester of Mubuga, Charles Nididandi, the Burgumester of Guamiko, Sirias Bujirangabo, Juvenal Navarinze, Director of Mata Tea Factory, Agronomist Bakunduchi Zeinosa, Father Emmanuel Wayezu, who led the group scolaire Marie Merci of Chibeho, Medical Assistant Mutezia Nathaniel, Kaigamba Francois Savier, the Director of Studies at Group Scolaire Marie Merci, Karechezi Fabien, Director of Discipline of the same school, Fatikaramu Hormisdas, a teacher in the same school, Anataz Sawa, a municipal police officer, and others. The massacres of Tutsi in Munijinya sector, Rguamagana sector. In Munijinya sector, a place called Sai is located at the crossroad of the power lines that serve the district of Rguamagana. In 1994, the place was heavily guarded by a gendarme. When the genocide broke out, Tutsis from Munijinya took refuge in Sai, hoping that the soldiers who guarded the place would protect them. From 10th to 12th April 1994, many Tutsis, including women and children, took refuge there and more than 100 of them were killed. During the night of April 14, 1994, Tutsis who had taken refuge there were killed by Ramgi, together with government soldiers who were present. The massacres of Tutsis at Chibungo sector, Ngoma. On April 14, 1994, around 8 a.m., a group of Inherangwe militiamen armed with virus weapons entered in Chibungo Hospital and brought out those who had taken refuge there, hiding in the hospital's maternity ward, and made them sit under a tree at a place called Muduha until 10 a.m. At this time, they had not been touched yet. The killers wanted to know the exact number to come back to let a massacre them. At around 3 p.m., the Inirame returned and began killing the Tutsi refugees, notably throwing grenades at them, as they did against those who had taken refuge at Virenga commune offices. The next day, April 15, 1994, a group of killers led by the fierce Inirame, Chiasa, sent teams to kill in different places, at the hospital in Ruchira, at the Economa General and elsewhere. Inirame Shumbusho, Birasa and others boasted of their sinister exploits at Virenga commune and at the Economa General. Inerangwe militia killed those in the hospital, including Marie and her little sister Nyirangwari, who are daughters of Gatari, Mukanguranga, and others who had come from Kazo and Karama. On April 21, 1994, RPF Ngotani troops arrived at the hospital and were able to rescue the few who had survived the killings. The RPA soldiers brought other survivors to Chibungo Hospital to provide them with the necessary care. Thank you for listening to another episode of Kwibuka Podcast. As always, make sure you leave us a review, sharing what you like about the podcast, and share with others who would be interested in listening.